is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and I was just looking through my channel and I realised I didn't actually make a room tour video for 2018. Um, I did one in 2017, a significant amount of stuff has changed since then. So this is going to be my 2018 start of 2019 room tour. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so this view that you're getting right now is what you would see if you were to just walk straight into my room. We've obviously got the posters on the wall, nothing has changed here, if anything just little bits have been added. Um, these posters are getting seriously torn up like this GTA one. We've got Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, GTA 4. Uh, this one is relatively new, this bully one, um, it's hard to see because of the lighting. But yeah, that bully one's new. Um, we've got all of these new Zelda posters. I put these up in the summer, um, so they're all new. Walking Dead ones are up. All of this wall is now completely covered with posters. This was never like it before. This is mainly my Nintendo wall. So it's covered, it goes from Pokemon, Let's Go Pikachu and normal Pokemon to Splatoon, Splatoon 2. We got 64, Sunshine, Galaxy, Galaxy 2, Odyssey. I didn't play 3D World, so that's not up there. Um, we've got this, I made this myself. Um, I used an image that I found. Someone had got all of the current Nintendo consoles and like put them on top of each other. Um, I actually changed this. There wasn't a Wii U, so I added a Wii U. And there was the NTSC American version of the SNES, so I added the PAL version, the European version. I also added all of the handhelds on the side. And then to continue this, because basically what this was, guys, is I just had a huge gap in between my posters and it was enough like it was a gap that was enough for me to actually put a normal size piece of paper in so I thought why not make a poster to go in the middle of it that's Nintendo related so I basically just got all the controllers from then on all of this is made by me got the Nintendo controllers NES, SNES, N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U and obviously the Joy-Cons for the Nintendo Switch we then got my Mario Kart posters going from 8 Deluxe, 7, Wii DS, Double Dash, and down there is 64, you're not going to be able to see, it's very dark down there. Um, and we got a Red Dead Redemption 2 poster. Moving on from there, we're going to start on this side, we've got my actual TV setup, and a few things have changed about this. Uh, obviously, when you saw it last time, there wasn't a Nintendo Switch, there is now. I got the Nintendo Switch for Christmas 2017. At the moment, the GameCube controller is sitting there, that's the brand new one that came out for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I got the big bundle for that. TV hasn't changed much, we've got my Joy-Con grip and my little like Joy-Con things that go on the sides. Uh, so to play it in like horizontal with one Joy-Con so you can play two players, that's on there. Now last time there was a few consoles that weren't there, so I'm going to start with them. I'm going to move my figure box out of the way. So I have added recently the NES, the NES and the N64. You wouldn't have seen them in the last one. Uh, I got them recently. So I got this in May and this in December. Um, and yeah, they're both great. They were both for very good prices. I got this for £20 because it was broken. Um, all I did was take that apart and um, remove one of the pins going into the import chip and then now that worked perfectly. I've got that hooked up to this old CRT TV that I had in my loft. Um, this, you wrestling fans probably can't like understand this. This is all really nerdy stuff that I'm into as well. This old CRT TV that was in my loft. If you give me a second, I will show you the NES on this TV. So guys, I've powered up this TV, as you can see. It's not actually flashing, just old CRTVs really like have flash and have bars on camera, it's weird. Press the on button, and there we go. Super Mario Brothers 3. Yeah, that's just something nice for you guys. I hate that the CRTVs, uh, CRT TVs have the old like flashing stuff come up, it's really weird. But other than that, um, that's my TV cabinet. I've got the actual Smash, um, what's it called like GameCube adapter under here I've got it nicely stored under there um, so I don't need to keep pulling it out to play obviously I just sit in my chair now on this we have just some old shoes that you guys don't need to see really not interesting however the thing you will find interesting is what normally sits here now while I play games I normally put these championship belts on my bed uh, throughout the day however when I go to bed obviously they sit here we have the WWE Championship 2014 network logo replica belt with Seth Rollins side plates and my custom homemade Planets Championship for Daniel Bryan, the 2019 one. Under that we have all of my figure, uh, 
stuff, wrestling figure related stuff, that's all for my pick fed there. Um, I'll Every now and then if I make a custom or get a new figure, they'll probably go on display on my actual bookcase. The next thing you guys are going to see is going to be pretty explicit. Um, we won't be seeing the panda anytime soon unless his relative comes for me because I actually cut his head off. Um, so there is the panda after I beat him in the open challenge. He got quite annoying and quite rude backstage. Um, so, you know, I kind of had to use my master sword right here from Zelda to just, you know, <laughs> there goes his head. Um, then we got a few hats, you know, nothing important here. This is literally the old side of my room you've seen. Moving on, we have my desk. So my desk is literally exactly the same to how you would have seen it. Um, my headset's just chilling, stuff's chilling. It's not really tidy at the moment. Um, I just moved some stuff. That This is how I would normally have it. Um, we got my Xbox 360 and my PS4 there. I'm currently replaying through the old wrestling games on 360 to do the Road to WrestleMania and currently on 2009. Um, Xbox controllers and stuff. Then there's my desk set up, you know, computer and everything. I got my mini fridge. Um, my mate Harris, you guys would know Harris Groom, he was in the Rivalry Rumble, he got me this for Christmas, this a mini games console, it's really awesome. Uh, my Batista's in bits at the moment, don't ask why, um, just headphones and just normal desk stuff that you would expect to see. I do have a new gaming chair, I got this today, my old one literally snapped on me, so I'm not even kidding, I sat down and it snapped. Um, and I fell straight backwards, so I had to get this new one today. Uh, it's a racing chair, it's not one of them DX races or GT Omegas, because fuck spending that much money, this literally cost me £50, it does the job. Um, other than that, we've got my games, I'm just going to quickly adjust the lighting so you guys can actually see all of this stuff, because it's going to get pretty dark when I'm showing you my cabinets from now. So here are some of my games guys, I quickly, I've probably got, it's probably a fucking OCD problem or something stupid like that, but most games that you get, uh, the PAL versions of in the UK actually have like bland uh, spines so they'll just be like all white and it will just say the name of the game I absolutely despise that if you watch the last room tour video which I recommend you don't it's cringy as fuck I'm watching back it and thinking what was I um, but all of my games literally for PS2 some Xbox classics GameCube DS they all have like um, just really like blank spines and I hate it so literally over the last uh, year or so every game I've been getting with a blank spine I've either been making a custom one or printing the American version out and using that but here we got all my PS4 games um, these under my desk this is where all of my like most played games are Xbox 360 GameCube and then all the GTAs on PS2 um, my desk, yeah, everything you've seen, my PC before. Uh, once again, Iron Wing by Fierce PC does its job. Um, this used to be full of schoolwork, now it's just sort of full of random stuff. I normally put my college stuff on here that I need to take. We got a Nintendo Switch case, a 3DS case, my change pot, um, some WWE books, uh, Adam Copeland on Edge, The Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, Heartbreak and Triumph, and Behind the Mask by Rey Mysterio. Here we got Steel Chair. Intercontinental Championship, JTW branded at the moment. Um, going behind me, we've got my Seth Rollins Big Fig, my Money in the Bank briefcase, the box for the Seth Rollins side plates, currently hold, holding the original side plates for the WWE Championship. Um, we've got some old books that I was trying to flog, but you know, couldn't get rid of them, they're like 20p each, so you know, it's not worth the hassle. Um, starting from the very top, we've just got uh, like my, it's very dusty up there. You can see I really need to dust it, but um, I never see it. Like you don't see it at this height. I'm literally brazing my arm. So um, we got my Ric Flair 2K19 stuff, some Amiibo. Uh, we got a Cappy uh, from Mario Odyssey, just the stuff that I normally dust with. Uh, here is what you would have seen in the last room tour video. All this is what I mean by the spines. They're all just like white with the the normal blank text. I hate that. Uh, the 3DS ones are not so bad because they have a little logo, but other than that. I hate it, so on all of my GameCube um, and all games that have it, I've literally put custom spines on there. So now look look how much better this looks with all of the custom ones instead of it just being a stack of white. Um, top shelf, we've got Luigi, all my GameCube games behind there, Switch games, uh, stuff like that. This is mainly my Nintendo shelf. We've got the Dudley Boys, their new figures. Um, yeah, I've got them with one Raw Tag Team title, one Raw Custom Raw Tag Team title because I'm too broke to buy a new one. We've got Game Boy Color, Mario, Mario and Luigi, uh, three N64 games, DS games, stuff like that. Moving to the shelf below is my wrestling shelf. I'm trying to get a complete WWE games collection. So we've got all the way from the Xbox ones to the GameCube ones, uh, PS2 ones, and all of my SmackDown Raw is complete except I need uh, WWE SmackDown vs Raw 2007 and the SmackDown vs Raw series is finished. Uh, the ones that are missing on here are currently on my desk. TNA Impact, WWE 2K14, stuff like that. 
PSP games, PS1 games, PS2 games. This is what I hope to happen one day. Hopefully at WrestleMania, Kofi Kingston wins the WWE Championship. We've got Fake Poo, a Duff, a Pokeball, a Toad, Donkey Kong, and The Undertaker's Urn. Moving on to the shelf below, we've got my Fallout stuff, my Pit Boy, we've got a Bootios box. Shelf below that, just some old empty figure boxes. Um, that's literally, I have nothing to put on display there at the moment, so that's what's there. Moving on to the bottom shelf, old comic books, some more wrestling books that I've read. Um, some Walking Dead Pops. Harris also got me these for Christmas uh, two years ago. We got some WWE game exclusive Pops, 2K16 and 2K19, Ric Flair and Stone Cold. Ollivander's one from Universal Orlando, an Ocarina that I've yet to learn how to play. Uh, going up to that wall, once again, you see the JTW World Heavyweight Championship. Up there, nothing too special. we got an air freshness and parts, uh, fodder parts and everything. The old stages for JTW, that's where they go. Um, my games checklist and stuff. AJ Styles calendar. And yeah, that's basically it for this half Honestly, of the room. guys, that's literally it. There's nothing really better in this side of the room. It's just where I sleep. Um, we got some, like, next level. I, this is probably the best £10 I've ever spent. I love Pokemon, so I got this Snorlax pillow. It's featured in a Braun Strowman Field Friday video. That is amazing. Up there, um, we've obviously seen this before. My WWE signature collection and everything that I used to get when I used to buy Wrestle Crates. Um, other than that, we got my bed that you guys have seen. On this wall, we've got all my paper championship belts that are pretty much obsolete to me now, considering I've got the real ones. Um, oh, delete, obsolete. Uh, I don't print out any custom side plates anymore, or name plates for these belts, but if I have the side plates of the champion, I will put them on there. Like you can see, the Brock Lesnar ones are on there right now. No more real paper championships added, I don't believe, since the last video. Um, other than that, yeah, I'll just flip the camera yeah, back that's around. that's the belt wall. These mini ones, they're for my little niece. They're just little funny things that we decided to, to make. Uh, we got my sister's guitar that I was learning how to play. Up here, we just got some little like miscellaneous stuff. Um, we got a picture of my dog there, my old dog, you know him. Um, we got Alexa. Say hi. Wow, she fucking aired me. Um, moving on, just over here, we got my kickboxing bag. Woody's going batshit crazy downstairs for some reason. Old Wii games, uh, same rule applies for the blank spines on the Wii games. I literally cover all of them up as well with custom ones. Um, that's just old stuff once again. On here, we just got my little displays of Marvel Legends and stuff. Um, I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek. On April the 8th, the day of WrestleMania, the pick fed will be up. The, I'm going to give you the sneak peek of the stage. If you guys are watching this video, meet the JTW WrestleMania stage, ladies and gentlemen. This took me about a whole day to work on. These are all external pieces that I had to cut out. Up there, we got a little Spider-Man, like webbing up the Ben Riley spy, uh, Scarlet Spider and everything. And then some more posters on the wall. Under that blanket is the JTW ring. We got my 3DS, my bed once again. And yeah. That is basically it, ladies and gentlemen. There has been a whole lot of new stuff added since the last room tour. So I am kind of glad I did make this video for you guys. But, you know, nothing interesting. I'm trying to keep it short. Uh, it's probably going to be, hopefully, less than 10 minutes. Huh. Less than 10 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, if you did like this room tour video, then be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Burn it!